After an early morning house fire in Jefferson Town, the firefighters unable to save the person inside. Wave News reporter Sean Bowdy shows us why neighbors are upset that they couldn't help. It was just after 4 a.m. the Jefferson Town Fire Department responded to the flames here. In just three minutes, they were on scene. Still, it was too late. A tragic warning for this J-Town community as they watch this house here on Marlin Drive go up in flames. Now the person they've lived next to for years is dead. It, it's just a bad dream. It feels like a bad dream. I wish I'd wake up and not be here standing in this front yard. Jeff Greenwell lives two doors down. He says the man who lived inside that home was a good guy. An older gentleman kept to himself mostly but was always friendly. Greenwell says he wishes things could have gone differently. I feel like I should have done more, checked on him. You know, I just feel like I should have done more. By the time Greenwell noticed the flames, firefighters were already there. There's nothing he could have done. And there's nothing fire crews could do either. The fire had been going on long before they were notified by what was likely a 911 call from a neighbor. They knew uh, what they were up against. Um, unfortunately, the uh, event didn't turn out like we had hoped, um, but um, they, they did everything they could. Assistant Fire Chief Joey Klum says it looks like the man inside the home tried to get out. A sad discovery for J-Town Fire. It's hard, uh, and we had our, our chaplain was on scene um, to help with family members uh, and with the firefighters that were on scene as well. It's just sad, honey. I, I just wish wouldn't, nobody would have got hurt. It's unclear if there were working smoke detectors inside. There were none going off when fire crews arrived. In Jefferson Town, Sean Bowdy, Wave News.